So that's about it. Uh, hopefully this set of tutorials or videos, whatever you want to call them, has been helpful. Um, hope you realize that using workflows in SoundMiner, you can do some pretty powerful things with sculpting a library. And hopefully you feel a little better equipped to sort of tackling your own library if you're a vendor and figuring out how to sort of make it UCS compliant if you decide you want to do that, including, you know, reshaping metadata, moving it around, potentially sculpting a new file name, whether or not you decide to use that file name or store it in, for example, user comments or whatever you decide works best for you. You've also seen that you can potentially even upload that metadata to the server and let other SoundMiner users basically download it once you've gone through your back catalog. And hopefully you realize that by taking a little time to create a compound workflow, that uh, you probably can tackle your entire library fairly quickly. Now, maybe your file name scheme has changed from library to library, so you might have to make modifications, maybe do a save as and sort of adapt the workflow a bit to each library. But a lot of the things like the finding and the replacing of you know the manufacturer or the library names or the microphones, things like that, may be consistent in your library, and at which point you'd pretty much set. You know, Very quickly, you ought to be able to convert all of your libraries with minimal effort. Please come join us over on the Slack channel if you have more questions. There are a lot of channels over there that uh, you can ask for help. Um, if you're a vendor and you're struggling with uh, building a workflow and you're willing to send me a copy of one of your libraries to sort of have a look at or even a couple files, I'm happy to sort of try and help you build a workflow and I can export it and send it back to you. Uh, I'm a little busy mixing, but as I have time, I'm absolutely willing to do that for any vendor that would like to sort of tackle their back catalog. And... And at least I hope that I've shown that uh, using SoundMiner, at least in workflows, um, and I should point out uh, again that workflows is available in pretty much every version of SoundMiner except for the most basic. I think there's just a version called literally SoundMiner Basic, which doesn't include the workflows, but I think every tier above that um, includes the ability to use these workflows and has the sort of UCS build and extract sort of workflows built in. So um, it doesn't require the highest end tier of SoundMiner to use these. And so with that, I'll wrap up this sort of set of videos and uh, encourage you to come join us over on Slack and um, ask for help if you need it.